as an internal medicine specialist, nutrition is almost central and essential to managing our patients. Uh, for example, uh, the best example and the first example was kidney disease in dogs. And years ago, the first diets, the first prescription diets that were available over the camel, well, available through the veterinarian, um, were for either obesity or for kidney disease. And with the kidney disease, time and again, the primary beneficial step in treatment has been to get them onto a diet that's kidney friendly. So that's, it's the prime example of actually impacting the duration of life, the quality of life, number of hospitalizations are all directly impacted by getting that pet onto a kidney friendly diet. And this has been shown in dogs and then in cats that this is the primary thing. And there's so many modifications to the diet that make it easier on the kidneys, make them work less aggressively, make them have an easier time of keeping that pet alive. Um, and as an internal medicine specialist, taking from that, um, beyond that, beyond kidney disease, really, almost every patient I see requires some type of special therapy. Uh, we see a huge proportion of intestinal disease patients in part because we are involved in the diagnosis of various diseases through endoscopy. So um, probably a good half of the patients that I see have an intestinal problem or a pancreatic problem. As a result, diet is central to managing those patients. You need to have a special diet that's not only for that group of patients but for that specific patient and sometimes it takes trial and error to find what works for that pet. Um, beyond kidney disease, intestinal disease, you've got liver disease, they need a special lower protein diet in most cases and also not only the quantity of protein but the source of that protein will matter. Um, there's almost no disease process that an internist sees that couldn't benefit in some way from dietary management. So it's, from our department standpoint, one of the biggest things that we have to address.